This is Carrie Walker with Elsevier Global Medical News, reporting from the annual San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. Joining me is Dr. Hope Rugo, who is the director of the Breast Oncology Clinical Trials Program at UCSF and on the Medical Advisory Board of the Oncology Report. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the study that found that there are some biomarkers that may be able to predict trastuzumab resistance and a pitinib response. Well, there's been a lot of data that uh, patients who have a low expression of a tumor suppressor gene called P10 uh, might have a resistance to trastuzumab because uh, P10 is very important for trastuzumab, at least part of what trastuzumab does. And again, it's only at least parts. This has been a complicated issue, and there's been a lot of controversy over it. The original study that was published in 2004 was in mice, um, and human data since then has been conflicting. Uh, there's also interest in mutations in something called PI3 kinase, which again is associated with P10 in one of the pathways that is called downstream signaling from the HER2 receptor. And so what uh, Jenny Chang did was look at two sequential, and she comes from Baylor, look at two sequential neoadjuvant trials. What they did first with trastuzumab for a relatively short course of three weeks, um, and then trastuzumab and chemo, and the other with lapatinib for six cycles, followed by, again, uh, trastuzumab with chemotherapy, docetaxel in both situations. And what she was looking at really was to understand what biologic markers might predict response or resistance to the two different HER2-directed therapies. And it's actually fascinating uh, data which suggests that uh, decreased P10 uh, would predict resistance to trastuzumab, uh, but in fact, decreased P10 predicted response to lapat. On the other hand, a low KI67 and low uh, MAP kinase that's phosphated, or phosphomap kinase it's called, predicted resistance to lapatinib relatively with blocked proliferation and uh, may uh, not predict a response to lapatinib. Uh, so it's very interesting actually that uh, potentially these agents work by different uh, pathways. And in addition, she found that this mutated PI3 kinase also predicted resistance to trastuzumab. So what this means for us is that potentially we could use these markers in the future as a way to individualize HER2-directed therapy for patients. If you have a prediction of resistance to trastuzumab, perhaps you should receive lapatinib. And where we're going to really get the answer to this is from the ongoing neoadjuvant and huge adjuvant trials that are getting tissue from patients, and we'll be able to look at long-term outcome and correlate it to markers that Jenny Cheng's lab has developed and, uh, and tested in these clinical scenarios. This is Carrie Walker with Elsevier Global Medical News in San Antonio.